Welcome back to yet another Manor Lords video. Today we have a pretty important objective and that is to try and get as much iron from this iron deposit as we can. And we want to use it to make our own weapons and also to start exporting to gain more regional wealth. Because our adversary Mr. Hildenbold von Berenreuther is claiming his next region, his third region. And we need to try and stop this guy before it gets, before it gets too much out of hand. So... Yeah, we want to get the iron deposit as fast as we can, but I also want to get deep mining so we are able to extract resources indefinitely. And to do that, we'll need to get another development point. And to do that, we'll need level 3 burgage plots. And to do that, we'll need to upgrade the church, get more clothing, more food, and also get a tavern. Let's start off this video by building a tavern. And let's build that like over here. We'll surround the tavern with some more burgage plots. Let's three burgage plots. Yeah, let's do it like this. Um, so we're trying to fix that, but we also need to get um to actually use the tavern. We will need where is it? Beer or ale, ale. And to get ale, we'll need malt. So we will need to start an import route of malt. There's malt over here. Import. When we have enough regional wealth, we can establish a trade route. Uh, let's do a surplus of 30. And to make ale, we'll need to get brewery extensions. Backyard extensions. We'll do that in the regions where we or in the residential homes where we don't have large background or backyards. It does decrease our workers here, so we can't really do too much right now. As for the clothing, we'll need to get artisans in the backyard. Food is just a matter of time. Um oh no, wait, it's not because we don't get bread. We'll need to get a steady supply of vegetables. And or eggs. Yeah, so we'll need to start making these backyard extensions as well. The vegetable gardens. Maybe even the chicken coops. Or we could start building farms. And start crafting bread. That's also a good thing to do. But we'll do that later when we have more living spaces. Alright, so the goal for today's video is set. Now... It's just a matter of, will we be able to reach that goal and succeed? Yeah, okay, so bandits, that was also a problem. So, they are moving towards this region. We should be able... Yeah, there are quite a few bandage, bandage, bandit areas. Before I do that, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a archer militia. Do we have a Fletcher shop? Yeah, we do. Are we making bows and arrows? War bows, right? Yeah, we do have some war bows. All right, let's get a archer militia in as well. Uh, let's get rid of some of these people in large storage. Also the granary. And do we have enough... No, we don't have enough. Here if we... Yes. And we do want to get some horses in because the trading post use, uses horses. The livestock merchant will come to your town, deliver the animal, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they should use a horse for trading. But we got another family. Maybe I should focus on upgrading these burgers plots as fast as I can. Every single time I can do that, I need to do it. Because that gives us more regional wealth, which is very important. Let's also start making a road going all the way over here. Because it, it's a very large deposit, so we don't need the indefinite thing immediately. Let's start gathering the, uh, <coughs> the iron ore already. Get that the highest priority. Let's also, if you're able to do that, let's make a garrison tower that increases the maximum written size by 12. Pretty nice. 
also increases the area in which we can build. Uh, in which we can build or expand the manor itself. And let's start making a space where we eventually want to farming. So building this is, fr is literally free, so we can do it right now. Without needing to worry about anything. And I want to place it down right now so I know that this is this is high fertility. And we'll do another plot over here as well. Ooh. Because ideally we want to have one where we get the emmer and we want to have one where we get the barley. Although now I see that barley we... Oh, we have... Oh, what? He's claiming his fourth region already? That's a little bit... Yeah, that's a little bit of yeah okay. it's very annoying okay so you need a farmhouse yeah we definitely need a farmhouse to make use of these lots let's extend the road a little bit and make the farmhouse we build the farmhouse on the uh least fertile areas here we want to expand there do that So we can't really plan anything because it's yeah ideally we want to do that in i believe did we make the mining pit yeah we have a mining pit let's people working there Okay, so we do have ale now. We are making ale in the uh, breweries. Or in the brewery that we have. We only have one. Um, Wait, did we build the tavern? Yeah, okay. Now we need one, someone working there. I will need to increase the church level. How do we do that? I will need to get roof tiles. Um, We can do that by importing. We don't really have an... A lot of regional wealth. We need to start exporting some stuff as well. Let's start exporting. I wanna export. I mean, we could export planks. Yeah, let's export planks. Also, I believe we. Yeah, we are able to get charcoal, right? That could also be a very. Good export, good. And we'll also need to start focusing on re, uh, regrowing trees. I really need to do that here because this will be our uh, building area. But yeah, um, we have the woodcutter's lodge over here. Let's get that here. Let's get the. Do it. We have more hitching space now. Let's uh, make sure that we are importing horses. Do one. Also, do we have? Do we have some spaces for sheep as well. I don't really need it now, but we can do in the future. Let's also get in one more oxen, so we have five. All right, work area is empty. That's the berries and these families. Turn families back to the Woodcutter's Lodge and also to the Charcoal Kin. And what we will do, can we import the roof tiles? Then we'll need a trade route. It also costs quite some regional wealth, so we will just Extract the uh, clay that we do have over here. And then right next to it, we will build a furnace.
Okay, so we need more food variety, we need more clothing, and we need a fire church level. Let's get our army and try to raid one of these bandit camps. Get our armies over here. Oh, we got some stuff, okay. Because that should give us some regional wealth if we are able to do it. But I don't think these bandits have that big of an army. Anything else is going alright? I need to make sure that we don't run out of food or else. Let's assign someone to the mining pit. Wait, do we have a big enough market space? Yeah, we do. So that's not the problem then. Need more food. Market space in here, maybe that will help a little bit. Wow, oh, this looks hideous. Um, can I replace this? Yeah. I need to wait until. We could do it like this. And now we'll get another market space here. Alright, our armies are over here. Oh, they got a broken windmill. Move all the way over here. They should start coming out of there. And can right? We're close enough. Are they even here? Hello! I have come to bargain. Although not really, I just want to make sure that you don't steal stuff from me anymore. There you are. Let's get the archers ready. Shoot at will. We'll get these guys on. Push forward! I don't see anyone. I think this will be a very easy fight, yeah. There's literally no one here. <laughs> I brought my whole army. Let's go, new message. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them, though it is your right to keep them. Send the resources to the nearest town and we gain some regional wealth. Very nice, we'll send our people back. Is this now a... Wait, is it a region of the... I have a look at the map. Wow, it's... Oh, he claimed that. Okay. Or we could go all the way over here and try to get the other bandit camp. Let's do that. While our armies are raised. And let's use our regional wealth for something good. Look here. Oh, baby, we cannot... Mm, yeah, we need... Oh, we need the clay. Is the clay thing made? Build? Yeah. This guy doing... They're waiting. Why are they waiting? Oh, because the people assigned are in the army. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's use my regional wealth to create some more of these things. We definitely need to get shoes. 
So we have more variety of clothing. Or artisans, but it doesn't really matter. We could do both. Let's do one tailor workshop and let's do one cobbler's workshop. And then we also want to get some vegetable gardens. We'll use the bigger plots over here. Then hide. We're doing pretty good in terms of hide and leather. So we don't really need the goat shed. We could use these to make different coops. Yeah, that would do. Right. Run. And I need to deassign some to that. Wait, are we collecting the iron? Yeah, we are. Okay. So how much can we sell iron for? <clears throat> for three. We can sell iron slabs for four. We can also use iron slabs to make weapons, which we can sell for way more. Get the right trade routes. And also we can craft tools from iron slabs, I believe. I believe that's how it works, right? Yeah, iron slabs to craft tooling. Um, I will reduce my taxation. Because I want to make sure that our population is growing. Right now it is not. My taxation, let's do a tree. All right, so we need to make sure that our armies do this quickly so we can get them back to work. The improvement is increasing, population is growing, that's all good. We do need to make sure that they have some uh, effectiveness because right now they're fatigued, they're climbing and the cohesion is down. Though I don't know if they still have... Where? Let's just form a line. I think if they did have, have bandits, they would have spawned in already. Yeah. Yeah, let's just take this camp. Let's go! Recent resources to the nearest town, we gain some more regional wealth. These guys can go all the way back. And then the rest of our, my regional wealth I will use. Make more of these Burgess blocks. Uh, but what do we want? Maybe a blacksmith? Yeah, so we can start getting weapons. And then a joiner's workshop so we can start getting shields as well. But let's wait a little bit until we get we have enough workers to do that and also have some free for construction make sure that we are not importing stuff we can put a hold on the malt because we don't really need the tavern supply right now can't really upgrade this anyhow we need what we need is we'll need roof tiles We cannot do that because we have our army is right now. Sire. Yes, sire. And they're in our home region. Then I can disband them. Forward. I should be able to disband them. Yes. Guys are pretty tired. Come on. Yes, sire, 
little bit further. And I can expand all of these guys. Nice. Alright, first things first. Oh, another bandit guy on the camera side. Okay. Um, let's get some more residential places. Just going to call it residential. Oh, we don't have enough lumber. Okay. Yeah, these people are going to go back to work. Okay, so where's the bandit camp? Oh, it's all the way at the top. Oh, wow. Ah, okay, so these guys need linen to make all of this stuff or yarn and dye. Where do we get linen? Made from wool. We'll need a sheep farm. We'll need pasture space. Let's here. Come on, why can I not build this? Cool. And let's make sure that we are importing. Wait, how many pressures or how much pressure space do we have? We have quite a lot, so let's import like five sheets. Winter is approaching. Or next winter. Uh, Oh. We have enough clay for now. Let's deassign all these families here. And let's assign one livestock permanently. That's the horse here. We're exporting our planks. Let's our surplus a little bit higher. Right now, oh, we do need more timber right now. All right, we have enough timber. Let's upgrade the church. And then the only problem is that we do need to have a little bit more food. So let's start importing the malt again. Make sure that we have enough supply in our tavern. Then what else? What else? What else? What else? I mean, we could also make a... Um, make a bloomery. Converts... Iron ore into iron slabs. That's perfect. Place that right besides the mining pit. And then maybe it's also a good idea to get a storehouse and there as well. And now that we have some sheep and we have a sheep farm, we can assign family to get wool. And then we need to convert the wool into linen. And also, it's a good idea to get more uh, burgage plots, make them very large, you can get more vegetable space. Because right now, do we have enough vegetables to be in a surplus? No. We'll definitely need more burgage plots with vegetable gardens. Oh, let's go. We can upgrade our first burgage plots to level three. Let's go. Come on, give me some more uh, timber here. Upgrading to level 3 is very, very nice because that doubles the amount of regional wealth. And also adds one living space so you can get an extra family. And gives two extra living spaces if it already has an expansion, if it has an expansion as well. All right, let's get another logging camp because we're we don't really have that much wood. What areas do we want to expand to? Probably over here towards the clay. Wait, are we still extracting clay? Yeah, we right. Yeah, should actually do that. We don't really. I don't really know if it matters because it's not a rich spot. So yeah, we might as well just use up all the resources that are uh, or all the clay that is in there all right so now we have some more timber 
Wait, what do I need? Now I need more planks. Wow. Oh wow, it's eight planks for one Burgess blood. Okay. Um, let's make sure that we are. Yeah, the surplus is thirty, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. Do we want to get a trade route? We could start exporting some of our war bows. I know that eventually the market supply will saturate a lot, but we can get quite some regional wealth by doing that. We're exporting, so let's just do that. Export and let's make sure that we have a surplus of like 50. Also create another archer militia. Ideally you want to have two or three at least and also two or three spear militias. Get some more vegetable gardens. Should almost, yeah, we need one more level 3 Burgess plot and then we get another development point. Uh, what's the problem here? We need more food. Um, how do we get more food? We might need to start trading food. Yeah, start importing some. Let's import meat because it's the least expensive and also let's import vegetables. A surplus of 30 on both. And we reached the Settlement level of a small town. We still have a small, or still are a small town. Our next settlement level is a medium town. All right, and we gained another um, development point. And we'll definitely go for the deep mining. That means if we upgrade this to have or to be a deep mine, then we get indefinite iron. Make sure that we also have a bloomery. We should be able to. Make use of that and trade a lot of stuff. Oh, a band of raiders that was seen. Near. Immenroid, that's my area, yep. Enemy unit spotted. Okay, let's raise our armies then. Don't really want to do that now, but I don't want to get raided as well. Mission complete. Raiders near. Where are they? Oh, and also it's also it's almost spring, so let's make sure that we are uh, using these bases. Families indeed. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we have enough roof tiles to upgrade some extra berries. But yeah, it's only four roof tiles, so we could. <coughs> upgrade at least eight so let's assign these families so we have some free for construction and now it's just a question of time maybe they they've fled already but they were just passing through that's also a possibility I don't want to take a risk so I'll just keep my arm is raised for a bit longer. Missionary companies available. Um, yeah, let's disband these. Enemy unit was spotted. Oh wow, that's that's amazing. Oh, yep, and they're lighting the place on fire, of course. Okay, we need to make sure that we are engaging them immediately. Come 
Come on, archers over here. Hit these guys. Oh, look at the effectiveness. We should not do that with only 5 against 18. Get them over here. Oh, no, the archers are engaging. The no, don't, 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 don't do that, please. Go over there. They're gathering over here. They're waiting. Okay, that's good. That's good. Get the spear militia. Engage the brigands. Get these guys on shoot at will. He got oh, he got great effectiveness. Yeah, let's go. Can I see the stats on this? Yeah, so experience. They are gaining experience, but their army power balance is less. And they got fatigue. Look at this. Yes, engage in battle. No, don't let them come near my arches, please. Okay, only two guys. That's okay. They should survive to two outlaws, right? Come on. Oh, no, they're... Okay, that's annoying. Fall back, give ground, get these guys over here. No, that side. Engage those. Uh, where's my... Yeah, Britannies. They need to go over here. Join my other archers. Oh, it's... They're going to attack these spearmen as well. Let's get them on stand your ground. Let's just eat away at them with our archers. Come on. 90% effectiveness. 80%. Don't engage, please. Oh, they won't survive that. Nope. No, no, nope. Fall back. Okay, okay. We're doing... Pretty good damage. Okay, now they're going to try and attack. Get these on central ground. Get these behind. Run into position. Don't. Oh, that's so annoying. Don't engage, please. Don't engage. Give ground. Give ground. Come on. Yeah, 60% effectiveness. That's good. That's good. I said they did lose some archers. Oh, now they are going for <laughs> my my five Britannies over here. Fall back. How do they still have so much? Like, oh my god. Oh wait, wait, wait! Before before this war ends, I definitely need to get a. Um, Oh, that's, yeah, that's one of the major flaws of this game. Because after you fought a war, there will be a lot of corpses and that will, like, like, plummet your approval. And you don't really get much time to get the corpses away. So we should assign some people to the church. They should get rid of the corpses. And then we'll need to make a corpse. It as well. That's not important right now. Um, don't really need to on the foraging hut. We have quite a lot of leather. Move some from the logging camps. That should do. Okay, this is really annoying right now. Nine against 11 and 13. Okay, the effectiveness of these guys. Let's get them closer. Why can't they not shoot? Okay, let's fall back then. Let's stop shoot at will because they're a little bit at range.
Let's go. Awaiting orders. Let's stand your ground. Come on. Yes. Okay, we got one one army defeated. Or one militia. Come on. Why is the effectiveness so low? Come on. Yeah, we got them both. Let's go. These tactics are the bomb. That was quite fun. It was a very difficult battle. We lost a lot of people. That's... Yeah, that's very sad though. Okay, let's disband these armies. Look at the amount of people that are dead here. We need to fix that before the approval plummets. Come on, let's finish this corpse pit, please. They are already collecting bodies. Production completed. Yep, let's assign everyone. Oh, it doesn't plummet right now. I had a game earlier where I just plummeted because of all the dead corpses. Or because of all the corpses. On their bodies. Yeah, okay, now we get the... Uh, yeah. Now it's only minus two. We are fixing it because I've sent so many people. So many families. So, yeah. That's a very, very, very important thing to do after you fought a war near your, uh, near your village. Families joined the settlers. Blah, blah, blah. Boomery is finished, and we also fixed the that people, right? Why is this happening? Why do I have to carry this alone? Uh, okay, we don't need anyone work there anymore. Okay, so we fixed the bloomery. Let's assign two families, make sure that they have enough fuel reserves. Let's make the deep mine. Highest priority indeed. Upgrade the storehouse. Okay, so we are building... We're making iron slabs. We can use the iron slabs to make tooling. What else? And they need... Wait, do they need tooling to make the... Um, how does that work? So the tailor's workshop needs linen. Yeah, we know that. We're fixing that. Because we have... Pasture... And a sheep's farm that collects the, um, the wool. But we need... We also need a weaver's workshop. Yeah, okay. So we need to do that as well. Then what else? We wanted to get... A blacksmith. Enables the production of tools, spears, and sidearms. Ah, it doesn't say, say it needs tools. It just says it's produ producing tools, but I don't yeah, I don't know what the input is, so we'll need to have a look at that. Let's make at least two. Ah, it says it over here, okay. So iron slabs and planks. Yeah. So let's have a look at the militias here. Oh wow, I didn't even know that you could press tab while doing this. Oh wow, that's cool. Is that just, that's just when you are, wait, what if I out of this menu? Oh, then you can also do that. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do is look here. So spear militias, one attack, five armor, eight shield, 10 impaling. I don't really know what all the stats mean, but I'm guessing that Attack is... Yeah, attack and armor are pretty easy to understand. Shield. That's for... Deflecting hits. I would guess that also makes them more resilient to arrows. The Ritonies have a lot of armor. So why can I not get more of those? Oh, you can customize them? What? I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, and then over here you can recruit men at arms. Pay from your treasury to hire a retainee who already owns basic military equipment. Recruit ministerialists. Promote one of your citizens to your 
Brittany locked in early access. Ah, and they get these weapons. Expertise. Wow, look at all this. Always try to avoid danger. Defeated foes. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you can name them as well. Armor upgrades. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. So I can see the treasury that I have. Yeah, so I, I definitely need more treasury so I can get more of these guys. Looks cool. Oh, but that's only for one, though. We'll need a... Yeah, for everyone. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so we cannot really do anything here. Need more treasury. We do have enough to claim a region now, by the way. Enough influence. What region do we want? Probably a region nearby. This region has clay. I mean, that's quite useful. The other regions, meh. We already have a region with wild animals. Eyes, we don't really need that. Let's just do this one because it's like next to us. Claim region, yes. And hopefully the guy doesn't interfere. All right, so that was it for this video. In the next video, we will start claiming the region Nusloa and start settling it. And also we will improve our armies and increase our treasury and wealth by exporting a lot of iron and iron slabs. If you want to see me do that, then definitely subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like. So I know that you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.